So good morning, Mr. Kole. Yeah, good morning, my brother. How are you doing, man? Fine, sir. Yeah, thank God it's uh, Saturday. Yeah. Happy weekend. Yeah, same to you, sir. Okay, sir. So the first lady of Nigeria yeah. to Nigeria, and she said, um, politics and election is over for now, and this is the right time to you. Yeah. You support the statement? Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's sending that message to the, um, the strongest, the strongest uh, elements. It's sending that message to some stubborn elements of our democratic space. That I've never seen it clearly that uh, there's been a president who's elected our president. Election is over now. Let's eat the ground running. Let's start eating the ground running. And we are ready to use the ground running. We talk with them. We talk with the president. We talk with his economic policy. Although it's harder now, it's harder as it is now. But a lot of jargon, a lot of debris have been created. You know, down is where this man is coming to play now. So to me, good message from our our first lady, Olura Mitinobu. Good message from her. And uh, the people that is di directing that message to, I think they must have heard that they should give things a chance. Because they got nowhere, they, they have nowhere to run to. You know, they, when they create the trouble here now, they have nowhere to run to. Because the home is not stable. So, I mean, it's a good message being sent out, right? We have accepted that the policy that is going on here we have to, I mean, bear it because uh, it did not just start today. The debris the Nigeria created since how many 20, 30, 40 years is what we are we are trying to clear now. So we are we are we are that excessive of debris of man administration, man, you know, we are we are allowed that debris of crazy demonstration and uh, the demonstration of craze instead of demonstration of you know. Done good governance. So the way it is now, a good message from uh, first lady Olu Enetinobu, the first lady of uh, Nigeria. I appreciate our, our, you know, that's a good one. Sending out to to disobedience, to dis no, to disobedience Nigeria. Yes, <laughs> so to disobedience Nigeria. Yes. So I will ensure well resourced and um, fit, well resources fit for purpose of Nigerian military. Says the president, do yes. you think he's trying to bring the high of the military to himself against any form of military junta in Nigeria? No, 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 no. There can never be any military. There can never be military junta in Nigeria again. because even the military, the, the military that want to plan to, they even prefer to retire from the armed forces and join politics. You know, you can see our former chief of the uh, army staff, you know, that was posted to uh, Benin Republic as a, as an ambassador, is one of the party members. He has joined one of the party members. So our military are so enlightened and they are so upright for them to know that military junta in Nigeria is expired, has expired. So we can't go back to our vomit. Nigeria will never go back to the government of military junta. And I bet you, and I say it all heartedly, you know, we've learned our experience. So the worst democracy we are managing now is better than the best of military. You know, you are here now. Everybody is here. You know, uh, Mike is here. Uh, Lily is here. Everyone of them is here to express their own opinion. You can't do that under military. You cannot do that under that military. So there's a few, there's a lot of freedom, 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 uh, freedomism, yes, under, under civilian and under military. So we never, and I say we should never go back to the military era in this country. All right, sir. So Ten um, Tony Elumelu tells India investor that this is the right time to invest in Nigeria. With everything we are going, with everything going on in, uh, going on in Nigeria now, do you think? This is a good advice for investors in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. It's a, it's a good time. Uh, it's a good time for foreign investors and it's a good time for local investors. And I give kudos to Tinobi for being able. I give as you say, I give kudos to Tinobi for uh, for his for his being able to attract one of the billionaires in uh, India to invest about 
15 billion dollars in Nigeria space. If white people will not see this, and we are following the economic master plan of uh, Tinubu, and you are started on a good note. When that, the part in that 15 billion dollars into the Nigerian economy, you can see, you can see how the economy will be robust. You can see how the economy will boost up, right? So it uh, started, it's starting on a, on, on, a, on a good note, as it is now. So we need more investors, because what we need now is productivity. We need productivity in Nigeria for our Naira to stabilize. We want our Naira to stabilize and we want the, you know, people to start investing, right, as, as it is. So, as it is now, I want more investors in Nigeria. And Tinobu has that capacity, capacity to bring in investors because we have connection all around. And I'm telling you, I can tell you for free, likewise, that France, France will bring in investors too. He will bring investors from France. Because he has an ally in France, he has an ally in Macron, that's the president of France. So we should all, yes, we are bearing now, it's just for his time. And if you are not even, if you don't, if you, the pain is too much, we should remember our children. We are paying that sacrifice for our children. You know, I myself, that's why I believe I'm going to now. I'm paying that sacrifice for my children. The country has been messed up already. For the past 20, 30 years, there's a mess up of debris on the country, right? On the country surface. And we never see it clearly. Why am I saying this? This is a country that killed all its industries. For the past 20, 30 years, the, the industries are folded up. And a country that is not productive, you cannot be successful. You cannot be progressive. That's one thing. But, you, you know, but Nigerians are expecting magic overnight. You don't have anything you are producing, and you say your policy, your economy, there's an economic hardship. And mind you, I want to tell you, this economic hardship is not only Nigeria that is affected. It's affecting the UK, it's affecting America, it's affecting, but they have, they have what? They have a, what's it called? A, 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 a gap, a up gap that they used to. Uh, you know, of the argument, the suffering of the people. What I mean by the, you know, shut up, or, 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 you know, they have that uh, process of bringing parity for the, you know, citizens. Because this, that's a country that has a good data, uh, you know, system, uh, data system uh, plan, right? But we here, yeah, we lack data. That's the problem why we found ourselves, why we found ourselves into where we are now. Because imagine what we need to do now is the economy boost. You know, so when the economy gets better, let us conduct population census to know how many are Nigeria, how many people you want to plant for. And I'm still saying our president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has come to stay and he will rule this country for progressive and we all join in because that's the only president we know now. All right, sir. Thank you, Barra. So, talking about the politics, do you think the president now should just step in and what? Ask the governors how well they have spent the money and the uh, food substance given to them. Because up to now, the palliative has not gotten across the nation. Yeah, you know what? We ourselves, you see, when you see 20 people here castigating government, they should first of all castigate themselves because they are elements of, you know, corrupt people. They are element of, you know, when they are corrupt people, they will come back in on the, give them a position, give them money to share. You will see that, uh, you know, that money will not circulate around. We have seen a lot of things around us even here. That where money is being given, nobody delivers the money. And these same people will come on here, yeah, that somebody is corrupt. This one is corrupt. A corrupt man calling a corrupt, I mean, element is corrupt. I mean, so you, if you want to come for justice, your hands must be clean. How many clean hands do you have in Nigeria? If you want to come for equity, your hands must be clean. Among these citizens, how many clean hands do you have? Look at the look at government there. Right? Do you know what they do? They do with the uh, subsidies. Eh? Or with the policy. Look at them. And they still want local government. I will see reports as it is. They get their rice to share for the people. They started stocking their rice in their logic of uh, car boots, right? For their own selfish interest. Nigerians are too selfish to each other. Nigerians are too wicked to each other. So it's part of the real people on the street. You pick up this leadership. And that is one thing I want you to do. Anybody that is castigating anybody here should first of all check himself likewise. Is he upright? How many people are upright in Nigeria? They are just few. They are just few. You get what I'm saying? They are just few. 
So, palliative or no palliative, give palliative to any one of us here to share. That is when we will start favorizing, we start coming in. So, Nigeria is fond of that. You know, a kettle, a, a black kettle, pointing in hand at a black kettle. So, you, you never check yourself that it's black likewise. So, to me, Nigerian citizen, we just need to change our narrative. We need to change our you know, orientation because we are all corrupt. The majority of us are corrupt elements. You know? And when this leader see in you that we are, we are not transparent to ourselves, that is where you start seeing bad governance in the country. So we are, we are praying and seeking for help from the president if he can change the mindset of the citizen. Because as of now, I believe the palliative should have circulated and everybody should have gotten their share and their on the palliative. So, aside from the food stuff, what do you think the government can do? to ease this hardship than giving us palliative who they know won't get to the citizen. It's as simple as ABC. Once the government fix the most valuable assets we have, which are the refinery and electricity, once they can fix those two things up, what do we mean again? When they fix refinery, there won't be excuses from the uh, market women, from the farmers. That they are spending a lot of money to you know to bring in the you know the food stuff to the to closer to the market, which is a different you know region of the country. And when there's light, the manufacturing companies that have left Nigeria that they, they don't want to start uh, you know uh, getting extra cost of buying fuel, you know having extra cost of buying diesel, you know which government supposed to have provided for them a good electricity supply and they, they all of them pack up they move to ghana they move to you know uh Bene, they move to you know this neighboring country they will easily come back because they're stable of life and as there's life there are the stable of life there will be i mean economy you know improvement there will be industrial you know there will be industrial search in nigeria you know they are all this done up they will come back all the big time you know Manufacturing companies, they will start just doing for Nigerian, I mean, fear of the uh, share of cake, you know, because they know we have the population, they want the population to promote their market and to, you know, to, to, to achieve, you know, the profit they want in Nigeria. But a, a country that does not have stable light, a country that does not have refinery, working refinery, I mean, it's bound to go bankrupt anytime. So we don't want Nigeria to go bankrupt, so they should work on that. And I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm calling on President Bola Ahmed to 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 work on those two things. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time, sir. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay. okay. Good morning, Mr. Charles. Good morning, my best and a great journalist. Welcome to the good morning. The cool Saudi. So. The first lady of Nigeria, to Nigerians, you and me, that politics is now over. It is a time for healing process. Do you support this? It's time for what? Healing process. What? Uh, she's right. That is politics for you. Uh, what? Uh, you don't expect her uh, being the first lady of Nigeria and to just come out here and start emphasizing on this is time for us to go for war i mean she's right it's time for healing processes and uh she's 101 million percent right i support her on that and uh kudos to her on whatever she has said uh it's time for everybody to go back to join the join board there's no need to fight there's no need for war so i, I think I'm, i am in support of whatever she's saying thank you very much all right sir thank you for that sir. so this is coming from tony Elumelu. He said this is the right time for Indian investors, Nigerian investors, to invest in the country. We don't invest in a country where there is insecurity ravaging almost all part and country of Nigeria. So you have to first and foremost, I cannot support, I cannot even advise any of my brother who is in abroad or anywhere that has the money, the what I may call is success or financial muscle power that he wants to invest in money here. 
if there's no if there's if there's no security here, I don't think investing in money here is gonna augur well because it's gonna be what I'm call a total waste of resources. So I believe for them to have said that they should fight one of the major problems we are having in Nigeria is insecurity. So they should go and settle that first before talking about the what people, foreign investors coming in. You look at Nigeria, a lot of foreign investors have decided to ride in their country back to their various countries because insecurity is here. You, can, you are not more safe. We and I are not even safe. What about what happens to the foreigners? Well, you heard about what happened a few days ago. Uh, uh, one of the first stars decided to they, they took an American investor. It was just a few days ago that uh, EMCC decided to and lose just property back and they send it back to that particular person, even his houses in Edo. So I am not even in support of foreign investors coming in here, but all I'm in support that yeah, they should do the right thing by fighting insecurity in Nigeria. So talking about insecurity, the president said, I will ensure well-resourced fit for purpose um, for the military, resources fit for purpose for the military, to be given to them yes if, 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 so is it is it is it trying to yes, have the military yeah that is exactly what he's trying to do just to secure you the know military. anything he wants to do but all i'm saying is that they should try and fight insecurity in nigeria because it's one of the major factors and problems we're having in this country so you cannot you cannot be you cannot stay in a country whereby insecurity is just the call and as they have taken order of the day and they are trying to tell me that you can live in security and you'll be fighting other things with that is a, a lot of things can be rendered in terms of insecurity we have food insecurity we have insecurity based on your own personal life as an individual as a citizen of nigeria so they should go ahead fight for it at the end of the day we'll be able to see that things should be organized well but in a situation where we are not doing it in such a way that it's going to help average nigerians i don't see you supporting the military i don't see you doing whatever you know, the military should not be the only problem in this country there's almost all ramifications there's insecurity the funding or so they should come in generally and fight insecurity in nigeria not only the military thank you very much all right sir so lastly sir m solo almost said it will unite all the NURTW member in Lagos State. Uh, that is where I don't. There's some certain comment that we do generally do as that we don't need to answer. So we, it's just a, it's just a question of time. With time, we're going to find out whether we're going to unite or bring them together. Unless most of this evil that most of these people that call themselves Agoro are just perpetrating in Lagos State, happy to stop. I don't think that I'm not seeing anything the union coming together to become one because of the much more power they have been given to most of these people that call themselves agro in never state so but with time let's watch and see what is going to take place thank you very much all right sir thank you sir thank you for your time sir so that's all from yeah. mr charles so good morning mr mike mike good Good morning, my brother. So it's a pleasure having you today on this very day, certain Saturday. So, sir, the first lady of Nigeria said, "Politics is now over, and this is the time to heal." Do you support this statement? Um, to a large extent, I do. Uh, the time of politics, uh, campaigns, and the elections are over. I mean, just as she rightly said. Uh, it's now time for governance. Uh, much as I agree with that uh, position, I also believe that anyone that is aggrieved has every right to proceed to a court of competent jurisdiction to ventilate uh, uh, his or her grievances. So, much as I agree with her that politics is over, it's time to build. I cannot also take the right of an individual that have decided to approve the court uh, to press home uh, to press home their grievances. So uh, that is my position on that. All right, sir. So thank you for that, sir. So this is coming from Tony Elumelu. He said this is the right time for Indian investors and Nigerian investors to invest in the nation world. Not looking, notwithstanding the insecurity in the nation, 
will this prompt any foreign uh, foreign investors to bring down their funds here in Nigeria? Um, yes, it's time to uh, invest. Uh, the president is uh, in far away in here trying to move investors into the country. Uh, some deals have, have been signed and all of that. But uh, at the same time, back home, which we should we also be uh, interested in fixing our uh, fundamental uh, infrastructure and uh, make the country conducive for such investments to come in. Uh, just as we have said, uh, we are dealing with the issue of power and critically we are also dealing with the issue of security and these two are very very critical in how far any investment we go in our nation and so as government is on the one side trying to ruin investors uh, on the other hand we must not lose sight of our uh, uh, security and fixing power so that at the end of the day we don't frustrate such investments all right, sir. So thank you for that, sir. So the president also promised the military that they will be well equipped. So do you think the president is trying to have the eye of the military against any military junta? So well, now he's, 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 he's giving them everything they need. Well, I wouldn't do his mind. Uh, and I'm not a suitsayer, so I believe the military has every right to, to get all that they deserve uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an armed uh, force. So the president is doing what he should be doing by making sure that he provides for the military irrespective of the motive, uh, which we cannot determine here. Uh, but the truth is that the military must have every equipment that it needs and more importantly uh, emphasis should be laid on the uh, intelligence i think that is where the bulk of their work is it is not about ammunition it is also about information uh, because ammunition without information may lead to frustration so they should not lose sight of the fact that intelligence gathering must also be uh, be given a lot of attention and not just military hardware thank you all right sir. so lastly sir the palliative palliative is now going down the the smoke are now getting too enough the president is yet to to give account or to bring the governors to table as the fund has been distributed to them and the food substance has also been given to all the governors. So why up to now that the citizens are yet to get this palliative? Do you think the, the president is reluctant in this aspect? Um, you know, when the issue of palliative came, then some of us were, uh, we were almost seen as pessimists, as if we don't believe in government. Not because we don't believe in government, but we know uh, the way our politicians behave. Even in few of the locations that the palliative have been deployed, you see how rowdy and disorganized that it was. And just as you said, a lot of Nigerians are yet to even see, not the talk of take, uh, such, such palliative. So it is unfortunate that uh, government cannot get organized and uh, deploy uh, uh, such uh, effectively which i think it is not it is not too good for us as a nation uh, so they've, they've given the governor some amount two billion era I, I i had but the effect is yet to be seen all right sir so thank you sir thank you for your thank time you. sir so that's all we have for you today please um, subscribe to our channel like our video share and always click on the bell button if you haven't done that so as to get notification every day and not miss any of our content from the Nigeria. Thank you. See you tomorrow.